it's Matt Kelly here from the Social Q&A show and welcome to episode number two. Again, this is the probably the most experimental show on the internet. We're really just starting out right now. So while I want to be able to jump in and answer questions for you guys, um, please feel free to send me a message via um, commentary below in the YouTube video, via Twitter. Feel free to subscribe, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you hate it, that's also cool. Um, but yeah, basically we're just trying a lot of things right now and seeing what you guys find to be interesting, entertaining, or otherwise. Um, today's question comes to us from someone in my team, actually, who said to me, they were chatting to a, a potential like, corporate client last week, and um, this, this business owner said to the team straight out, if, you could, if we could only use one social platform, what should we use to build our business? So, you know, there's all these social media sites, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google+, Twitter, and a, like a myriad of others. And his question was literally, if you could only use one, what would you use? And we all started to debate, you know, what was our favorite and what did we prefer and which one would, would be better or worse for different purposes. And the truth is, that's actually what matters. There is no right answer here. The right answer is, who's your customer and where are they spending time? If you're targeting just, well, let's face it, just about anyone in the marketplace right now, you probably want to start with Facebook. If you can only use one ever, you probably want to be using Facebook. But the reality is, if I was targeting a younger demographic, I'd probably go straight for Instagram right now. And that might not be for a long time because we're seeing this migration happen to like mobile, mobile only platforms like Snapchat. However, However, the default reaction, the default response to this is Facebook just because of the population that's there. That doesn't mean it's easy to get in front of their eyes. It means it's actually quite difficult to get in front of their eyes because there is a lot of noise. In saying that, that's where they are, so that's where you gotta spend your time. Um, Twitter is another obvious one, only because there is a core audience there, probably not if you're in Australia, but elsewhere around the world, there's a core audience that's there. So Twitter makes sense for some people. Um, and it's a great way, you can obviously, with Twitter, you can reach out and talk to other people. You don't have to wait for them to come to you. So that can be a very, very nice aspect of the platform. But again, depends on who you're targeting and where they spend their time. If I was targeting um, one, of our, one of our clients right now is a, a scrapbooking online retailer who sells scrapbooking supplies. Their core target market is females who are middle-aged. So yeah, Facebook made sense because that's where a lot of those people are. But then the next, the next best point wasn't to go to Twitter, wasn't to go to Instagram, we went straight to Pinterest and we've actually built a sizable audience on Pinterest as well. So it always comes back to who are you targeting and where do they spend their time? I would be, get really, really smart with that and just think about it before you start. The most important thing is, and this has always been in my view, is nail it on one platform before you try to do all of them. Everyone tries to do too many at once, and my theory is it doesn't work. You end up spreading yourself far, far too thinly, and it's really, really hard to get scale, to get benefit, to get real, like to grow in leaps and bounds. So make sure you start with one and work at it until you nail it. If you can't nail it, scrap it and move on to another one. Don't try to spread yourself too thinly. Um, that That's it, I think there's, um. There's um, something to think about there. Make sure you know who you're targeting and what message you're going to put in front of their eyes because that's what actually matters. It's actually the, the specific platforms don't matter as much. Wow, that was an intense one. I spoke really, really fast, so I hope that made sense. I hope that was cool. Matthew Kelly, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to tweet me. Um, hit, please hit the subscribe button if you have enjoyed any of this at all. I would massively appreciate that. And yeah, ask a question or tell us what you think. Thanks very much and we'll see you very soon. Thank <laughs> you.